so problems on capacitors in series and parallel so in this problem we have given the equivalent capacitance in series combination cs which is equal to two capacitors are connected in series so c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 and its value is given 2 microfarad say this is equation number 1 again we have provided when the two capacitors are connected in parallel then cp is equal to c1 plus c2 and which is equal to 9 microfarad say this is equation number 2 and by using these two equations from equation number 2 we will get c2 is equal to or c1 is equal to 9 minus c1 this is equation number 3 now substitute equation number 3 in equation number 1 and therefore we get C one, the value of C two in bracket nine minus C one divided by the value of again C one plus C two, which is equal to this nine and equal to two, and from that we will get C one square minus. 9 c1 minus sorry plus 18 is equal to 0 and now if this quadratic equation is solved then we get c1 minus 9 in one bracket in another bracket we will get sorry c1 minus 3 in one bracket and c1 minus 6 in another bracket which is equal to 0 and hence c1 is equal to 3 and c2 is equal to 6 and vice versa so the values of c1 and c2 are 3 microfarad and 6 microfarad <coughs> in this problem two capacitors 2 microfarad and 4 microfarad are connected in parallel so two capacitors one is 2 microfarad another is 4 microfarad then a third capacitor of 6 microfarad is connected in series so this is 6 microfarad this connected in parallel combination and 6 microfarad is in series combination then this combination is connected to a battery having voltage 12 volt and we want to find the value of voltage across two microfarad capacitor so from this diagram as this 2 microfarad capacitor and 4 microfarad capacitor are connected in parallel their equivalent capacitance is 2 plus 4 that is 6 so this diagram becomes here is 6 microfarad capacitor which is cp and this is again 6 microfarad capacitor and a battery having voltage 12 volt again in this figure this 6 microfarad capacitor and this 6 microfarad capacitors are connected in series and therefore we know that in series combination the equivalent capacitor cs is equal to cs cp into this third capacitor is c3 cp into c3 divided by cp plus c3 which is equal to 6 into 6 that is 36 divided by 6 plus 6 it is equal to 12 so 36 by 12 is equal to 
थ्री माइक्रोफेरे सो सी एस इज टू थ्री माइक्रोफेरे एंड अगेन इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन द चार्ज टोटल चार्ज क्यू इज इक्वल टू सी एस इन टू वी विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वोल्टेज इज ट्वेल्व विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स कुलम एंड देर फोर द वोल्टेज एक्रॉस सिक्स माइक्रोफेरेट कैपेसिटर इज इक्वल टू वी इज इक्वल टू क्यू बाय सी वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज थर्टी सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज सिक्स माइक्रोफेरेट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स एंड विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स होल्ड सो एक्रॉस दिस सिक्स माइक्रोफेरेट कैपेसिटर द वोल्टेज इज सिक्स होल्ड अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वोल्टेज एक्रॉस दिस टू माइक्रोफेरेट कैपेसिटर as this panel combination and this capacitor are connected in series therefore as the voltage across this 6 microfarad capacitor is 6 volt therefore across this panel combination the voltage is also equal to 6 volt and hence pd across two volt capacitor which is equal to again 6 volt because this 2 volt and this 4 volt are in parallel and in parallel pd is same so our answer is pd across 2 volt 2 microfarad capacitor is 6 volt so a diagram of series and parallel combination of capacitor is given and we have to find the equivalent capacitance between two points a and b so for this purpose say the first capacitor is c1 second one is c2 and the third one is c3 this is the first plate of first capacitor this is the second plate this is first plate second plate this is also first plate this is second place of third capacitor then from this diagram this circuit becomes equal to suppose this is the point a and here suppose this is the point b again suppose that we label this point this point as c this point as d this point as e and again this point as f so after labeling the points and the plates of the capacitor the point a so at point a there is another point which is c at point b there is another point which is point f so at point a the first plate of C1 capacitor is connected. Then the second plate of C1 is connected to the point D, and this point D is connected to the point F. That means the second plate of C1 is goes to point B. First plate goes to point C. Similarly. For second capacitor, first plate is connected to D. That means it is connected to F and B. That means this is the situation. Again, second plate is connected to E. That means C to A. So this is the situation. Similarly, the first plate of third capacitor is connected to E. That means A. And second plate is connected to F and B. so the our diagram becomes like this so first capacitor it is 2 microfarad second one is 
6 microfarad and third one is 12 microfarad. Now these three capacitors are connected in parallel and therefore we get in parallel combination Cp which is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 and so on and therefore the equivalent capacitor between point A and B is equal to 2 microfarad plus 6 microfarad plus 12 microfarad and which is equal to 20 microfarad. So the equivalent capacitor between C A B which is equal to 20 microfarad. So problems on energy stored by a charged capacitor. So in this problem we have given energy stored by the capacitor of capacity 20 microfarad is 4 joule. So energy is given which is equal to 4 joule and the value of capacity of capacitor is given 25 microfarad. So 25 picofarad which is equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad. And we have to calculate the charge on its plane, that means Q is equal to 1. Again here, we know the three different formulas for energy stored by the charged capacitor. And here we have to use the formula E is equal to 1 by 2. Q into V and sorry, 1 by 2 into Q square divided by C and from this Q square is equal to 2 times E into C which is equal to 2 into energy is 4 multiplied by charge which is 25 into 10 to the power minus 12 which is equal to 200 into 10 to the power minus 12 which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 and therefore Q is equal to square root of 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 which is equal to root 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 and our answer is Q is equal to square root of 2 is 1.414 into 10 to the power minus 5 and unit is Coulomb. So here identical capacitors are given and equivalent capacitance in series combination is given. That means we have provided Cs is equal to 4 microfarad. Again, when these identical capacitors are connected in parallel across the source having potential V is equal to 400 volt. So first of all, the n identical capacitors are connected in series and after that these n capacitors are connected in parallel. That means initially in series and after that they are connected in parallel and we want to find the energy stored E is equal to. As we have already seen the relation if n identical capacitors are connected in series and then connected in parallel, then the relation between the Cp and Cs, which is equal to Cp is equal to n square times Cs. Where n is the number of identical capacitors. So here the value of this n is n equal to 5. And therefore, this Cp is equal to 5 square into Cs, which is 4 microfarad. And which is equal to 25 into 4, which is equal to 100 microfarad.
farad. So the value of Cp is 100 microfarad and when they are connected in parallel then En is equal to 1 by 2 Cp into V square. So which is equal to 1 by 2 into Cp is 100 microfarad that means 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by V square V is 400 volt that means 16 into 10 to the power 4 and we get the energy in the n identical parallel capacitors which is equal to 8 joule So in this numerical we have given C1 is equal to C2 10 microfarad and V is equal to 240 volt and we have asked that in which combination that means in series or in parallel combination energy is more and we have to find the value of this energy u or equal to e equal to what so we know that cs is equal to c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 so c1 into c2 is 100 divided by c1 plus c2 is 20 which is equal to 5 microfarad. Again Cp is equal to C1 plus C2 10 plus 10 that is 20 microfarad. And here we have provided the values of capacitor and the value of potential difference. So we use the formula energy E is equal to 1 by 2 C into V square. Now here this C is, C may be Cs or this C may be Cp. So from these two combinations, we observe that the equivalent capacitance in series combination is small. That means E is equal to half Cs into V square is taken. Then the value of this energy is smaller as compared to the value of equivalent capacitance in parallel combination and therefore the value which is to be calculated is E is equal to 1 by 2 Cp into V square and which is equal to 1 by 2 into Cp is 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by V square which is equal to 240 into 200 40 and if we calculate this value then we get 576 into 10 to the power minus 3 